What's up guys, it's Tatman Seas, and this is a pile of video game consoles. For the past two to three months, I've been telling myself and friends that I'm done with video games. That's right, I quit gaming, and this will be a video as to why. First and foremost, I have nothing against video games. In fact, I love gaming, hence my collection here. However, I think for me personally, it's time to take a break from gaming. I'm an artist, I love to create. I like to draw, paint, tattoo, photography, cooking, videography, writing, editing, graphic design. I mean, if it can be made, I wanna make it. Unfortunately though, I'm only one guy and unlike my characters in the video games, I only have one life. And with all that I wanna personally accomplish in my life, time's already not on my side. So that brings me to reason number one that I quit video games. Video games are extremely time consuming and games these days often don't have an end, no storyline and no real direction. A lot of the stuff I play is just open world free play or continuous upranking with no finish. In fact, not only is there no end, but the geniuses behind making these games make a new one every year. So before you realize you're ranking up to an unreachable number and you should stop, they start over and give you a new game and more incentive to be better than you were last game, creating an endless cycle of play. Think about it. I can be level 1000 prestige master in Call of Duty, but come November when the new one drops, I'm level zero, just like all the noobs who never even played. And when 2K20 gets replaced with 2K21, I start a new career. Notice they never let you pick up where you left off in these games, because they know there's no excitement in monotony. But if they repackage the same game and put a new picture on the front cover, you're down. Not only to start over, but to repurchase the game over and over and over again as long as they make it. This translates into hours, which turns into weeks, which turns into months of time that you're never gonna get back. And for me, that's time that I could have produced a new painting, wrote a short story, or even made an educational video to post on my YouTube channel. And that brings me to reason number two. The energy that I put into these video games felt like it was surpassing the energy that I put into my actual life. I started realizing that these video games consisted of infinite small victories. I could gain five, six ranks, unlock a new skin, or move on to the next level in a matter of minutes. Video games provide instant gratification. I was a millionaire in Grand Theft Auto within an hour of playing it. So I could buy houses, cars, yachts, businesses, all the things that it would take me years to get in real life. Not to mention I would actually have to work for it. And that became addicting. Feeling like I was getting a return on my investment made the game worth playing for all those hours. But once the system turns off and it's time to live my real life, I can't open any of those doors or drive any of those cars. So it not only makes my life less interesting, but it makes me wanna go back and live the virtual reality that I live in the game. And when I realized that, it was a bit depressing actually. But I realized I can have all these things in real life. I just have to be willing to work for it like I'm willing to do in these games. I gotta set a goal and put the hours in until I reach the next level. It may not be as fun and I may not be able to clan up, but the end results will be better because they'll be real. Speaking of cleaning up, here's reason number three that I quit video games. I generally keep very good contact with my friends. We usually speak every day and for hours at a time. How do adults with children manage to pull that off, you ask? Simple, video games. So it's work all day and PlayStation parties at night. When I sit and think about it, the amount of physical time we spend together or time we spend doing something productive is way less than the time we spend gaming. And I know I can't convince all my friends to turn off the games and join the cause, but I figured at least I could try. Now the interesting part is since I stopped gaming, communications are down. After about a week, I realized I'm not in as much contact as I once was. Ironically, my friends in real life seemed way more accessible in our fake lives. I realized that I've seen their avatars more in the past month than I've seen them. But where I'm seeing less avatars, I'm seeing more rewards in real life. My man cave that was once video games and pop figurines is turning into a creative castle with paintings, books, sculptures, lights, cameras, and a whole lot of action. And now when I jump in a group chat, instead of sending footage of my latest kill streak, I'm sending links to my latest content, putting that creative energy in the air, maybe inspiring my friends to create. And again, it isn't for everyone, but the joy that I get from seeing my creations and getting that positive feedback from the viewers is much more gratifying than whatever I accomplish on these things. And that brings me to reason number four. Your real life can be whatever you want it to be. All right, so you probably can't fight zombies and you may have missed your shot at being drafted in the NFL, but you're still alive. 
you still have access to a whole world of real people doing real things. With my same group of friends, when we do actually turn the video games off and get together, we live life to the fullest. We create new hobbies and experience new things together. From buying and building our cars, to going to the range to shoot real guns, to going to let some young kids embarrass us on a basketball court every once in a while. And in each of these things, you gain real life experience, which I think is better than any amount of XP. Cause you can use these things in combination to find your passion or the thing you want to have spent most of your time doing when your life is coming to an end. And again, if that thing is video games, then more power ups to you. But if you watched this video and thought, hmm, I have been wanting to spend more time at the gym or I have been putting off starting my cooking channel, then maybe you can think about prioritizing your time too. Speaking of which, I have a lot going on these days. Two podcasts, a YouTube series, putting together this art show, being the world's greatest dad, and I'm a full-time tattoo artist. Sound like a lot? Well, it's amazing what you can do when you take control. Hopefully I was able to provide some helpful information. I'll be posting more videos on time management. I upload at least one video every week. From motivational videos, tips for artists of all kinds, interviews with artists, and any interesting parts of my own art adventure. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload new content. This is Tatman Seas.